Yo. So, we are back today to complete this trilogy. So, I've already seen Ego. I've already seen Shadow. I'm not sure if this is an official trilogy or if it's just kind of the army putting pieces together and understanding, you know, lyrically and visually why they're connected. But either way, it's time for this. Now, I got a lot of comments in my Ego reaction saying um, a couple things. One was that they noticed that RM was looking up at his persona, Sugar was looking down at his shadow, and J-Hope was looking even with Zigo. I don't know what the hell you guys were talking about. <laughs> but I'm going to see if I can figure it out, I guess. So just like all my other rap line videos, I'm going to be watching the aesthetics and listening to the sounds first time around, and then the second time, I'm going to be focusing more on the lyrics. So now I do believe that I've at least heard part of this song at some point in the past because I did the reaction to uh, the BTS MMA 2019 performance and I think RM kind of started off the show with this song or part of this song. I'm not really sure. I hadn't heard it at the time. I think I've heard part of this song. So let's get into this. We got the CCs on. We're good. Ooh, I think that just answered my question right there, didn't it? They're definitely all officially connected. Come on, there it is. I see Persona, and then Shadow, and Ego. What else is on here? Map of the Soul, okay. Dream, Love, Happiness. Who am I? I have a feeling that that's going to be sort of what this song is about, just based on the word Persona. Um, and a couple of the comments kind of implying that in my previous videos. What else? Anything else? I am not what crossed out happened to me. I am what crossed out something to become. Carl Jung. Anything else interesting on here? I can't read the script, man. It's too small. All right, let's go. At some point, I'm going to go back and just stare at that for now. Ooh. Hey. Got some classic rock in the background. It's a very modern sound of an old school feeling. Oh, that was gross. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it was so gross, I want to watch it again. I'm not going to lie. Hold on. That was nasty. I approve of him being willing to be kind of nasty like that. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> it's so gross. Oh, damn, he's so fast sometimes. My shadow. I know this is probably, I'm preaching to the choir here, but just the idea of them like connecting everything like that is makes it so much cooler. You know, like it just makes it so much more interesting to try to break it down and see how it all flows together. It's just like the whole story to it. And I know you guys are just, gonna, oh, you got to watch the BTS story. I'm going to, I'm going to watch it. In fact, I'm doing the first video on my 15K subs uh, video that's going to come up within the next week. So check that one out too. Oh, it's so even. His flow. I like those animations. And look at that hoodie. What is that? There's a jacket, I guess. Is that the American flag? No. Nah. No, it's not. I'm just, you know, crazy. Dude, this thing is crazy looking. Maybe it is. Over on the the hood looks like it cuz it looks like I eh, probably not. Either way, this thing is insane. I would never be able to pull that off. That's why we're all black all the time. It's the only thing I could work with. <laughs> <laughs> 
It sounds so good, doesn't it? When he raps. Alright, I'm going to pause one more time. The... How do I explain this? I'm trying to articulate what's in my head, but like I think about music in such a stupid, weird way that I don't think anybody else would understand. So I'm trying to put it in normal terms, but I can't. To me, he sounds like he's rapping in circles. <laughs> Makes no sense. I know. I understand. But so when I listen to music, a lot of the times, for whatever reason, um, I, I get visual images in my head of either a color or a shape or like a graph or something like that. And when I listen to RM specifically in this song, but almost all the time, I visualize circles because to me, I guess a circle implies a soft edge or no edge at all and just a very nice flow. Um, while like, you know, a triangle or a square even will imply something a lot more jagged, a lot, uh, something that's going to be up and down a lot more often. And when I listen to, to J-Hope, for example, I see like hexagons and pentagons and just like, because he's just all over the place like that. Sugar, most of the time I'll hear either like, it'll be like a rectangle and then like some triangles or something like that. I'm sure I sound absolutely ridiculous right now, but Just ignore me and my words. Do you want to die? This song is so upbeat. Like, it doesn't sound... I don't know if upbeat is the right word for it. It's just kind of like... It's like heavy, but happy. His hair, his hair always looks so good. It makes me so jealous. Whoa, it was different there. He's got sugar hair. Or Jimin hair, I guess, too. He looks so different with it, doesn't he? He does. I like how his tie is like not all the way tied up also, though. It kind of like gives that impression of rebellion. <laughs> what is happening? What is that? Oh, the persona. He's looking up at it. I get it now. Okay. I don't know what that means, though. Like, I can't... You know, I know he's fluent in English, but it still doesn't make it any less impressive when he actually just, within the lines themselves, like, in one verse, he'll switch back and forth from English to Korean, like, several times, and I just think that that's nuts. It, it's as I said in my last video it's it's almost impossible for me at this point to decide like who my favorites are because I really feel that they all bring something to the table and RM to me like always the consistent like just you could always trust him in any situation to throw down a line and sound good while doing it I think he did a lot of the writing for this album and I'm assuming he, he wrote this song but uh, I think that the whole idea of like the persona, shadow, ego thing, I think a lot of that was sort of his brainchild from what I've been reading. And uh, he's just a smart dude. Who? I really love the feel of this song. <clears throat> Probably because I'm a metalhead, and I like the guitar. I mean, right off the bat, who am I? The question I've had my whole life. Can I just say, before he gets really into it, and I'm going to try to stop pausing it too much, but I, I'm... Of all of the lyrics that I've been able to relate the most to, uh, this concept is the one. From BTS, I'm talking about. Yeah. 
Dog or a pig or what else? Put the pearl necklace on me. And I s and he spits. What's that mean? What's that mean? People ask if I'm a dog or a pig. And then they put the pearl... But then other people come and put the pearl necklace on me. Okay. So I guess he's trying to suss out... A lot of this song seems to be about other people's opinions on him versus his opinion on himself, at least so far. And uh, I think you probably have to consider other viewpoints before you can really determine how you feel about yourself. Or maybe it's the opposite. I don't know. I, if I knew the answer to this, then I wouldn't have been questioning it my whole life. Same with him. If he knew the answer to this, then he wouldn't have to write a song about it. Oh shit, I didn't pick that up last time. Yeah. What did he say? This is gonna be so annoying to watch. I'm sh I'm positive. I'm just gonna be like rewinding and watching each line and I just I really want to know everything that he's saying. Sometimes everything sounds like freaking nonsense. Hell yeah. You know what comes out of you when you're drunk? Like immaturity? Yeah. He's really going back and forth a lot in this. Like, am I worth it? Like, what's... It doesn't matter what other people think of me, or should I very much consider what other people think of me? Do I care what I think of me? Do I hate me? Do I love me? Like, he's he's all over the place here. The world is actually not interested in my clumsiness at all. But he knows that they are, because pe some people are putting a pearl necklace on him. Oh, it's too fast! It's too fast! What is he doing? The first question. The three syllables of my name and the word but that should come before any of those. I'm sitting here trying to figure out the three syllables. Rat monster. Go. Okay. So, but rat monster. Did I miss a line before this? Because I really don't understand that. There's something that raised up again. Raise me up again every time. The first question. This is just like somebody fighting with themselves, like so hard. That image is super creepy, by the way. But I, I love it. It's just like an internal struggle that he's going through. That's so creepy looking. Jesus. This part's awesome. It's a really cool name, by the way, Map of the Soul. Oh. That last verse was my favorite. I love the concept of him just like, you know, having like this mask, this persona mask, which is the one that he shows the world versus the one that he uh, maybe genuinely believes is him underneath, or even the the 
the line that separates them and not knowing where one ends and where the other one begins. Let's listen to that last verse one more time. And I'm going to... Oh, it's really hard to keep up, dude. It's really hard to keep up with him. Like, I'm not that smart. <laughs> to me that I remember when people know. To me that I created myself to vent out. Okay, so like, like the R, like, is... Or RM or, or whatever he's talking about right now is 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 the persona that he's created that he wanted to show people. Yeah, maybe I've been deceiving myself. Maybe I've been lying. But I'm not embarrassed anymore. This is the map of my soul. Such a cool line, man. Dude's got Just never lose your temperature. You don't need to be neither warmer or cold. So this is the persona that he wants to keep. He likes where he's gotten at this point. Half. The me that people want me to be, the me that I want to be, the me that I love, the me that I create. That's me that's smiling. That's me that's sometimes in tears. People do the thing every second and every moment even now. Persona. A lot of that kind of reminds me of Shadow. Of just the way that he's thinking of it, they all remind me of everything. Honestly, it's definitely very connected. These three songs, and uh, I, this feels very much like the first one in the sense that he's asking who he is. He's questioning whether this persona is is himself or it's something that he created. That he's okay with it. He that that's actually become him at the end of the day. While with um with Shadow, it was very much like he was running away from something and then accepting it at the end and with ego it was like he had accepted it from the very start so it's like uh it's like stages of going from confusion as to who you are to acceptance of who you are it's really cool man i love this stuff <laughs> i really do what else am i gonna say i already said it all i really like that i really like the lyricism i think he might be uh my favorite lyricist of the group just, uh, I think I can relate to his introspective, you know, idealistic approaches to uh, who who a person is or who they can become. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please, come back for I Need You in a couple days. Annyeong.